Welcome back to part 3 of Paradise City. In today's episode, we design something that is very interesting. And by very interesting, I mean like interesting to like 1.2% of the world population. Which according to my calculation is... About 94 million people. So you would think that this video should get 94 million views? Okay, let's try like 94 views. The goal I had for this episode was to transform this into that. And to do so, I used my, my keyboard and, and mouse. But in all seriousness, what you really need for this is the Move It mod, Node Controller, Anarchy, and something else that I forget. Oh, uh, intersection marking tools to, to pretty it up. First thing you're gonna wanna do is connect all your roads to the boulevard. So we got a two one-way roads connecting on each side and in the middle we got a tram track. Second thing is gonna, you're gonna wanna customize the intersection where all of these meet using the intersection, uh, the node controller mod, I'm sorry. Now I could say that there's a big secret here to to make it work, but really it's just a matter of, of playing around with it, moving oh so slightly with the move it mod, switching where the intersection is with the node controller, and in no time you should have something that looks like this. And this is when you start using the intersection marking tool to to make it look like it is one seamless intersection. As you can see later, this isn't the final. F this this isn't my final form. I'll go through a few changes. One of them being, I'll completely change what boulevard I'm using, and what tram track I'm using, so that they both match. Here, I got lazy and I really had no good mods to remove that pedestrian intersection, uh, so I added some decals that looked exactly like the pavement and kind of hid them. Also, continued the. Um, the bike path, obviously, so it looks continuous. Here you can see me uh, messing around with the color of the pavement using the ploppable asphalt mod, uh, which allows you to, to change the, the color of the ploppable asphalt. <laughs> Ass. Here I got really mad because I realized I, I forgot to, to actually film myself going through some of these changes. But the main one was changing the, like I mentioned earlier, changing the boulevard and then the tram track that runs in the middle of the two one-way streets. So as you can see, they now match. And it was, it, everything kind of lined up better as you can see right now. It looks a lot better. And I did some beautifying, I added some fences along the the tram track so that people wouldn't step into it because at this point at the junction there will be no stops. I also end up adding some uh, network um, planners or curbs uh, which look alright. I might end up changing them later on, I don't know. I also end up adding some trees which I'll also remove later on. And yeah, so th th this is this is this took me a long time. I ain't gonna lie, this this took me a while. The rest of this episode is kind of lame. I connected the tram road or track to what will eventually be the tram depot, which I end up building later on. But I, I build, I'm building it right here. But like I'm, so, I'm just so disgusted by it that I don't think it's gonna last very long. But for now, it, it's gonna do its job of providing tram. You, you can see I'm speeding this up like a thousand percent because. I'm so deeply ashamed of it, I don't, I don't even want you guys to see it. Here's 
here's a more like exciting part of, of, of this build except for the intersection itself uh, to kind of blend this this curve that I have going here with a tram track because I didn't want there to be like a, a sharp corner in the track so I had to like curve it around there I'm gonna like build up a plaza and right now I'm using the ploppable asphalt or I guess this is probably ploppable pavement more than asphalt uh, it matches your sidewalks uh, and then I'm using the procedural object to kind of fiddle it around so it it's level with the higher part of the street not the the steep hill and for some reason here I move on to something else that I also end up changing because I, I didn't really like but I think I go back to to building the plaza right here which I think is gonna look very cool once there is some some people moved in in here they're gonna have like a nice observation deck of the city take that Empire State Building Oh no, we're back to this again. Why am I even including this here? Just please look away. In fact, you might as well just like hit the subscribe button now, the like button as well, and just kind of like move on from this. Because I don't want you to suffer. I like you. Here I am actually routing the tram alliance. And one thing I hate about this game is that you can't have your trams just kind of back it up at the end of the line they do need to circle jerk each other uh, and by that I mean have a, a little roundabout at the end of the line so it always looks a little silly when your city is, isn't done as you can see right now well if you've made it to, to, to here you've just spent uh, the last eight minutes watching some dude lay down roads so hope you're happy with yourself go touch grass no, no seriously don't 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 go outside that's nah 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 but if you enjoy this video make sure you like comment subscribe and then do your thing and hope to see you in the next episode uh hey hey don't smoke weed every day ideally seems excessive to me i don't know you do you